A classic garage band, Russian style. And a garage upholstery shop. And a do-it-yourself recycling center. They're all part of Granada, a garage cooperative in the city of Nabirizhnia Chilni, a city of half a million people over a thousand kilometers east of Moscow. Many of the city's male population get together here. This is where they earn their living, often with manual trades and almost always off the books. My customers are all Russians. My prices are reasonable. I don't think I need any patents here. I'll stay here till someone throws me out. Everybody comes here with their problems. This is a world of its own, with its own laws. This male domain is ruled by a woman, Yekaterina Yermakova, known locally as Catherine the Great. I know my lad, and they know me. Ms. Yermakova has been chairwoman of the garage cooperative for the past 20 years. She can open a few doors that would otherwise stay locked tight to outsiders. In this workshop, old Soviet cars are made good as new. Customization goes hand in hand with restoration. These are collector's items on four wheels. Valeri, as we'll call him, is a master mechanic in high demand. A customer explains what he'd like done with his old Wazik. Valeri rents two garages and employs an assistant. The customer prefers exotic models. This one, for instance, is slow but safe. He's come to us because he appreciates comfort above appearances and because nobody but us can do the things he wants doing, at least not at the prices we offer. Valieri is versatile. In his garage's basement, he does upholstery work of all kinds. He says he's legally registered as a small businessman, as legal as he can be, working cash in hand and no billing. That may be why he wanted to remain anonymous. I don't need anything else. Even if I end up having to sew slippers one day when I get to be an old fart, somebody will always buy them. Or at least give me a bottle of milk for them so I can survive. Most of the other renters or owners of the over 2,000 units in Granada think and live much the same way. Garage cooperatives like this one are a holdover from the Soviet era. They were built to house vehicles, but since capitalism took hold, the state has not been privy to what goes on behind the closed doors. The chairwoman can't or won't say how many of the members have registered their trades with the authorities, but she doesn't seem that surprised that most are working off the books and not paying taxes. Even if one of them suddenly decided to go legit and register his trade, he'd have to pay so much more in rent and taxes and undergo so many checks, from environmental to fire safety regulations, that his business wouldn't survive. That's why everyone here lies low. Estimates of the Garazhniki's numbers run to 30 million, or about 40% of Russia's able-bodied population, a vast shadow economy. They have no intention of sharing their earnings with the state. Yet they're urgently needed by Russia's legitimate economy, by the industry they once fled. Boris used to work as an automotive mechanic. Now he's specialized in fixing loudspeakers. For 30 years, I worked in a plant and hardly got any pay for it. Finally, I quit, and I've been my own boss here ever since. Not officially, of course. I avoid any contact with the authorities. They're corrupt themselves. They just demand bribes. I won't go along with that. No government has yet succeeded in breaking the vicious circle. 
The tradesmen cheat the state or the state cheats them. All across Russia, the situation is much the same. Billions of rubles roll past the state. Putin ought to make his officials pay taxes first. If they'd pay taxes on their own property, then my boys would all be working here legally. President Vladimir Putin has finally realized the urgency of controlling unregistered businesses and ordered an overhaul of the incomprehensible and overly complicated taxation and certification systems for small businesses. But that may not be nearly enough to bring the shadow economy into the open, not as long as Russians lack any real confidence in their state.